Hey guys, it's Clary Berry and I'm here today to bring to you the Gemini reading, Gemini Astrology, Gemini Horoscope for October 15th and 16th. This will be our super new moon in Libra. This will be our moon in Libra, okay? We have the moon and the sun, okay? Conjunct for the new moon, okay? So this is a balanced and centered time for us amidst the craziness. I keep saying that all this week. It's almost like we're getting callous skin. We're getting used to this whole process of reinvention, letting go, reanalyze, and that's what we have to do. We're realizing that as much as learning how to let go is that it is as learning how to create. It's balance, okay? That is deep. I love it. And of course it comes up for Gemini because you guys are so about the twins anyway. There's the balance. There's the duality, which again is important. You may be really feeling this in a way and in a way you may not again dualities yes and no up and down left and right you know where does it all blend together okay because our sun again is on one side and our moon is on the other side um i mean together really but they're both opposing mars here as well so that's where some of these issues are going to be coming in and highlights made on what is not working we have seething anger I think that it comes through from the past from you know just out of control you know just something that we've been carrying around it's like rubble with a cause or rubble without a cause or what you know it's like just reacting maybe to the situations that have been happening in our life and carrying that around which we know a lot's been going on this year so it's a lot okay so it's like we need to have that release we need to exercise we need to support ourselves and eat healthy and physically you know like be good to ourselves it's about that balance okay it's about staying centered and obviously here about you know letting go of some kind of action here that you just felt it might be that you, that you felt that you had to do okay and now you're just getting clarity on it Okay, you either felt like you had to or you just really, really wanted to and now you maybe don't as much. And again, things are changing as we're reanalyzing, re-looking at everything with this Mars in retrograde, Mercury in retrograde, in Scorpio no less. So that's why, you know, we're able to make life-changing realizations and changes to action now. This is a magical time, even though everybody's scared shitless of all of this Mars in Aries energy, retrograde square, like so many squares. It's still a magical time, okay? It's, it's keeping us humble. It's keeping us moving. It's keeping us growing. We don't even know how beautiful we're going to get, how much we're going to learn and grow and evolve, okay? So, healing for sure coming our way here, okay? Mercury sextile Venus, again, it's kind of this unwind here. We're going to, it's, it's, this is coming through as when you're expressing yourself, you actually learn more about yourself sometimes. So, that's always very, that's always really nice, okay? And speaking your truth can help get you connected to others in a way where you, that you really are craving, I think, to be right now okay so let's take one other for the moon opposite mars okay it can be really almost kind of jarring and we may be getting like a lot of second doubts about things that we used to really want to do like again drive our drive or like our passion you know over something is somehow changed or changing right now and again it's it might be kind of confusing um, that's why we're trying to like kind of sit back, you know, relax, reflect, see what's working right now. It's, you know, it's just that time to let the messages come to you. Release if you need to release. Just be open, okay? Be open and stay cool, you know, because the sun opposite Mars and the moon opposite Mars, even though we have sort of a balanced energy with the new moon, it's still this, you know, rebellious, conflicting time. And it can be emotional. There can be emotional upheaval, emotional realizations that it causes us. You know, and this may not be even in just one day. Finding the truth is a process. Letting go truly of really bad habits in our life. And not only just habits, but again, like 
thoughts and beliefs and expectations that cause us to act in certain ways in the first place, all of it, it all takes time. And we've been dealing with this process. Oh, you know, it's like we have been dealing with it. Okay. But we're coming out on top. We're coming out stronger and mainly again, emotional lessons, emotional, um, frequency raising going on. Okay. And again, we're doing this by the Scorpio moon, by not being afraid to get in there and feel it out. This Mercury sextile Venus, okay, where, you know, and there may be some sexual tension coming through as well with the sun opposite Mars um, and the moon opposite Mars here. But again... Something about the sexual tension to coming through here with part of something that we need to let go. Okay, so where do we need to change? I mean, just keep on thinking about what you want here and then why? Because again, pure intentions are so, so, so important. So don't be afraid to take another look, you know, deep into your own self, okay, into your emotions, how you feel. When you're doing something, should lead you the way. Okay, if you're not feeling good while doing that, then it's not good, you know, or even thinking about that. If it's, you know, we have to be able to stand up and take control. We're not going to mess around with things that aren't actually raising our vibration right now. Okay, and we're being able to kind of discern that again. A lot of time just being able to listen to our emotions more okay so a lot of emotions coming up for Gemini here okay but again there is a balance and there is a lot of truth coming a lot of realizations so it's it's a good time overall stay positive stay focused stay in that bliss bubble stay um, you know on your drive on your goals you know you've got goals you've got um, I think practices in place that you are rocking, it seems like. Okay, and so it's like really just stay in this even keel, you know, stay in this even keel and make sure and not let, you know, any of those old things that you used to do affect you anymore. Because it's not happening. You know, again, this old ways are over. So it's a whole new ball game. And, you know, make sure that you're resonating with that mentally and emotionally first so that you can better prepare for the next course of actions okay much love many blessings take care talk to you soon bye